Shouts out to Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney, both those guys, man. You know, I see, <laughs> boy, they give, <laughs> they give it Devin Haney the flux <laughs> on social media. But that's how most boxing fans is. Most boxing fans is immature. They're haters. They really only participate and pay attention to boxing. That I'm convinced just to talk about somebody else and to clown them and trying to down them. You know what I'm saying? We really don't have people in here that's really about just the sport. Some people are really just here just to talk crap about other people. That's really what this boxing stuff is all about. We got the most immature fan base out of them all. This is why I have to bring something up because I see, boy, they putting it to Devin Haney, boy. What I'm going to bring up is simply this. We got to congratulate both these guys because without both these guys, we wouldn't have had a fight like this. What do I mean? I mean, they two sides of the same coin. Both of these dudes is alike. We got this fight because they're movers and shakers. Ryan's not afraid to put it on the line and get in there with anybody. Devin Haney's not afraid to put it on the line and fight anybody. You know what I'm saying? That's how we get fights like these. You know what I'm saying? So you have to be careful because remember, not too long ago when Ryan Garcia took a knee, everybody threw him away and said he wasn't elite. Remember that. Remember that. Ryan Garcia, he's this, he's a, I know personally, he's not this, he's not that, he took a knee, he's a quitter, he ain't Mexican, he's this, and he's that, little did you know, in his next fight, now you're praising him, and now you're calling him elite, okay, now watch this, Devin Haney gets put on his butt, three times, loses whatever and, and whatnot, you know what people are not paying attention to? That he got up and fought through that three times. When Ryan took a knee, he was a clown. He was an elite. Devin get put on his ass three times but get up. Now he's not elite. You see how weird boxing fans are? And whether these guys take a loss or whatever and whatnot, they both got greater things ahead of them because it's the mentality you need to look at. The fact that they don't hold you up. The fact that they pull the trigger on situations. The fact that they're willing to get in there and put it all on the line. The fact that they're willing to get in there and prove something. You know, that's what Ryan Garcia was arguing with Oscar De La Hoya about. They matching me up with soft touches. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that. You know what I'm saying? I want a tougher test. I remember when people saying, man, Ryan don't know what he want. He biting off more than he could chew. He, he, he better take these soft touches. Oscar know what's good for him. That's what they was talking about, Ryan. Ryan take that shot from Tank. He takes a knee. Ryan's garbage. He's this, he's that. He ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? He ain't elite. All because he took a knee and didn't continue. Okay? Now here you have Devin Haney, who gets put on his back three times. He didn't stay down. He gets up. Now he also is not elite and he's not nothing he's this 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 that the third y'all are so damn fake that's not what you're supposed to be looking at what you're supposed to be looking at is two young guys got in there in their young career put it on the line they not afraid of the smoke and that's how we get events in boxing matches like this so basically the guy that you threw away yesterday can be your hero today so regardless of what people want to say about Devin Haney or whatever and whatnot it just take a dominating performance or something else to put him right back there where he's supposed to be. And it's not going to be a problem because he doesn't have a mentality of somebody who's always trying to protect something. Somebody's always trying to coddle something. Isn't that what y'all complain about? These fighters trying to hold on to their oh, you know, you know what I'm saying? The Mayweather effect, this, 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 that, and the third. The other thing I'm saying is this. If you want to keep getting unexpected surprises like this and good boxing matches like this, you got to back up the people who's willing to put it on the line. I'm tired of saying this shit. For some reason, y'all don't seem to understand this. Because they try to put me in a box. Oh, you like that person. You like. If you pay close attention to me, who do I like? If you notice, Bruce likes all the people who are the movers and the shakers. You ain't noticed that shit? Everybody who's about that life 
everybody who's willing to put it on the line that's not afraid to give me what I want, don't you magically notice that I'm a fan of them? All you got to be is somebody pushing the needle. And you going to have me as a, as a supporter and as a fan. Because you're trying to give me what I want. You may not be the best. You may get knocked out. You may get clowned. You may get all that. But the point is your mentality shows me that you was moving in the right direction. And you're trying to give me what I want. So therefore, I'm going to back that up. Why? Because I want to see more of it. Ain't that what y'all been begging Javante Tank Davis to do? And he been sitting on his high horse telling you to kiss the ring? That's why when, when you get these guys, yeah, it's cool to have a little fun rivalry and whatever and whatnot. But be careful who you try to beat down and tear down. Because the person you try to tear down tomorrow, today, could be your hero tomorrow. And it just goes to show and prove that now everybody fuck with Ryan, right? Before then, when he took a knee, he wasn't shit. Now... Devin Haney ain't shit. He ain't elite. Even though he didn't take a knee, he got up off the canvas and kept doing what he was supposed to do. Y'all got to learn how to find a silver lining in that shit instead of taking the opportunity to tear somebody down. Because the only thing somebody going to look on the sideline and say, oh shit, I ain't finna put, no, nah, hell no, nah, I, nah, nah, I ain't finna risk it. And, you know, I take one loss. They get ready to throw me away. Let me keep fighting these soft fights and these fights that don't mean nothing. Gerard. <laughs> I don't care what you say But that's why I back up everybody Who's about that damn life That's why I am an Adrian Broner fan to this day Never turn down no work Always trying to give me what I want Always putting on the show Always That's really what it's about It ain't really about smoking on the Haney pack It ain't really about uh, 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 Ryan Garcia ain't shit or, or Devin Haney ain't shit It's about the people in boxing Who's willing to try to give us what, our, what we want The Terrence Crawford The Anthony Joshua The Devin Haney uh, The Ryan Garcia's uh, The Uziks You know what I'm saying The list goes on Get behind those guys And we can keep having shit like this But when you want to coddle Well You see what Canelo going through right Can't get that dude to do nothing That he's supposed to do And he's supposed to be the face of boxing This is why Ryan Garcia said If it was me I'd have fought David Benavidez already. Oh, he ain't Mexican. He ain't this. He ain't that. Y'all need to get off that super soft gay shit, man. man. I'm just being for real. You know what I'm saying? But shouts out to both these guys because without both these guys having the mentality that I like, we never would have seen stuff like this, man. That's the silver line, and that's what y'all really need to be looking at. Now, the troll games can continue. <laughs> I'm out.